good day uh, cellmates today I'm going to have another go at the um, ice cube container pour um, had a bit of a tragedy the last one this is just a, a canvas that I didn't like that I scraped off but it's fully dry so I am going to try again the ice cube container pour I've let the old paint dry on it I probably should have got it off but it, it's fine it's it's gonna be fine but I'm gonna try this time if you've seen my last one uh, where I filled every single one with paint I'm going to only fill a few and I'm actually gonna move it around the canvas so that is the plan in my, uh, in my head but whether that actually happens is as you know a completely different um, thing so I'm going to give it a try my paints that I'm using are the Montmartre studio acrylics uh, and I've done a I added this is my pouring medium that I've made up I'm using the Montmartre clear PVA craft glue and I'll do it at 70% glue and I add 30% water then when that's all mixed and the bubbles have gone out of it I just slowly add it to my different colours until it is the correct texture for whatever you want to do I do go a bit thinner when I'm doing swipes and a thicker if you were doing a flip cup different different um, particular styles of pour require different that is a little bit thin actually but I'm going to use it as a base coat it's a little bit thinner than I would normally like so this one is yeah this one is the uh, burnt umber and I've added black to it and that's I'm not sure if you can see just leaving a little trace in there a little bit thicker if you're doing metallics you need to do well I find I don't know if anybody else find I need to do them thicker because the metallic just sinks that's got a little bit of something in there then oh, it's disappeared now um, yeah I need to do the metallics a little bit thicker because they sink so that one is a little bit thicker it leaves a trace for a couple of seconds on you so they're all colors that I've pre-made up with my uh, clear PVA and I add one or two drops of the Helmar silicon my pouring recipe and links to suppliers are underneath my videos as always so so we're gonna get going on this one what I'm gonna do is I'll do my canvas with the white first I'm just gonna well it's kind of it it was white and I did add a little drop of um, gold just to send it a little bit off white Okay, so just quickly do this for you. Don't want to bore you with all the boring bits, but if you're a beginner, they do like to see these bits, and I find that even though lots of people have been watching uh, pouring videos, they still remark to me how they like to see how I, uh, you know, do everything, diff the different stages. I don't always pour the paint on as a base coat, as you. I don't uh, think it's necessary because my canvas is always compre gesso but this is um, going to be I'm going to be pouring onto this canvas so in from that ice cube container so I just kind of really wanted it flooded with paint so I can I'm going to try and not put as much paint at all in the um, ice cube container as I did previously you know really put quite a lot of paint in so 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 far so good okay <laughs> let's do it okay I'm not gonna fill every single container I'm not gonna actually fill many of the sides because yeah I'm just not so I'm going to put this nice chocolate brown Whoop which I made out of the burnt umber, like I said, with a blob of black. It just sends it a really nice dark chocolatey colour and I like it. So I'll just add that to two. Uh, 
I'll pour some gold in with that. Oh, 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 just doing it a little bit different way. Some people ask me, that's a strange ice cube container. It's long and skinny. But as another lady explained, um, it's meant for ice cubes for drink bottles that you can put the ice cubes in the drink bottles. So there you go. This is the uh, orange. Just doing it a whole different way. I'm going to see how this turns out. I'm putting some um, teal in it, which is is the turquoise, but I added a bit of blue to it. I think I only really want to do the four. Maybe, oh, okay. I'm going to add the brilliant red. Whoops. Colour should I go with the brilliant red? Um, 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 gold, gold maybe. See how we go. Just add another red down here. I'm not going to add any more. She says I should have left spaces again, but I didn't. Never mind. Oh, it's already. That was a turquoise again. Little bit of little bit of um, deep purple that I have here. Like a grape colour. Okay, that's all I'm going to put in my container. Now I am going to move the container around my work. I'd create one hell of a mess, but I'll have fun doing it. I look as though I've got loads of worms. It's wormy. Yeah, I don't think this is going to be my forte. <laughs> okay, well, I've got like a swipe through the, I mean, you know, like the burnt umber straight through the centre. Oh my goodness. This is a funny, funny. Okay, what I might do is just put some heat on that, see how that comes out. So I get my wonder wand, my little heat wand. If you've been following my channel, you'll see that I'm mostly always using my heat one now instead of the butane torch. It gives exactly the same results, but far safer and it's not so scary to use. And I haven't got to keep changing gas, so it's very easy. Just hold the lead and go for it. That really looks like big worms everywhere but I will um, definitely give it a tilt and see how we go but <laughs> oh my gosh I'm laughing at myself I'm thinking oh my goodness this is um, yeah not my Forte, obviously and I'm gonna end up I can see it already I'm gonna end up losing all my negative space of my white because I just won't be able to um, control myself but to tilt over the whole thing but you know there it goes some weird and wonderful uh, creatures coming up in this particular pour I should take a little bit slower I really like this effect here. That's really 
little bit different. It's like a chain of hearts. But I don't know what I'm doing here. This is not my forte, but you know I'm just giving it a go as you do. You just try your best. It's ending up pouring a lot of paint off. You're probably screaming at me, some people. You're pouring all the best bits off. But I've got oh, all those lovely little... I don't know. It's, it's sort of creating a whole little way of its own. I, I've poured off lots of nice bits. So I do get that. But, you know, you win some, you lose some. Something completely... Uh, funky and way out as this some people love and some people hate <laughs> so not really f feeling it myself but okay sliding around here uh, you know sometimes just some absolutely wonderful things start to come up in your pour Grabbing my wet cloth, sorry. Otherwise I get paint everywhere. Alright, alrighty. Well, I don't like that thick line, so I'm going to see if I can bring up anything interesting. nicer that something else comes up in that brown because I certainly don't like it so thick and blobby but some nice things are coming up now so okay well well and well not exactly a very pretty pour. It's um, really way out. I'm just thinking, thinking, thinking. Let me have a little think. Uh, I'll show you a little bit closer. You, you'll obviously let me know what you think, which is a good thing, uh, and what you believe I could have done or couldn't have done just give it one minute to have a think about this what I want to do or go any further with it okay people had a little think looked at it took some photos of it like this which I will add to the end of the video if you're liking it exactly as it is stop viewing now and do not go on any further um, okay if you want to see me play it might be a complete disaster or it could end up a master I, I, I have my doubts for this one because it's just too busy way way too busy so to make it I'm not saying it's going to make it unbusy but I would like to swipe through the diet oh, I was gonna swipe through the diagonal maybe I'll swipe through the center I'm gonna swipe I just uh, I'm not feeling it don't I think it's way too kind of busy and out there so if you like it now just goodbye see you later <laughs> sorry but okay that is a phalo blue in the um, and I'm gonna swipe I'm gonna swipe so here we go it's a centre swipe on a ice cube ice cube tray pour oh my my swipey tool is a little bent 
This is the soft plastic file divider I use and uh, it's obviously a little bent so that's why it missed out that area but there's absolutely no problem. I will go back over that. Easy peasy. Here we go. Oh it is bent on the end and it's lifting. Had it in the drawer there. Okay. Great swipey tools, really are great swipey tools. Ooh. And if you just keep yourself a nice piece of uh, kitchen roll handy to keep uh, wiping your swipe tool, you're doing a better job than I, because I forgot. Uh, oh. oh, wow, how interesting. How interesting is that? Look at that. It certainly looks like an underwater garden there, like under the sea or northern lights or what do you think? Let's keep going with it and, and we just see what happens. I mean, this is what you've all got to remember is the only rule is there's no rules. Uh, it's your art room and your decisions. Nobody else can make the decisions for you. Just whether you make mistakes or you you don't it's it's your choice and there can be happy accidents I'm told all the time which is true but just continue and just keep trying to work with it and get your artistic mind which you, everybody has got an artistic point of view and it might not be the same as mine or anyone else's but it's yours so go with it go with the flow okay look at that completely changed it now it's completely morphed into you wouldn't even know it was the same painting it's got some little like star something's fracturing in here but in a nice way see these blobby bits i would let it dry off quite considerably and then I'd come back and, and give it, just show you while I'm here, a little teeny tiny water balloon. You can get rid of those and make them. Oh my goodness, how pretty is that? You just get rid of the, anything you don't like. I'm not gonna do that just yet. I'm going to just give it a whack with the Wonder Wand. The Whacker Packer. Just through the thick bits. I don't want to bring up any more cells in the other area because they're gorgeous. The, the thicker bits, yeah, go with it. They'll come up. The more on your heat, talk to it. Okay, heating the canvas up with this. Um, what it, it's heating heating the paint up should I say more at a slower rate than you would if you used a butane torch it doesn't burn it it's heating it up and then as you see the whole thing takes on its whole life um, on it, a, li a little life all of its own that's what I'm trying to say get your words your words correct okay I just want to show you quickly I'm gonna leave this to settle because there's a lot of paint on there, but I absolutely will come back in with this little balloon that I've put water in it weeks and weeks ago, and then just pump out the little teeny tiny bits that I do not like. Oh, so it kind of looks like a starry night, doesn't it? Tell me what you think, like, I mean, it was certainly way busy before. Oh my goodness, these teeny tiny um, balloon kisses. Okay, I must show you because I've had a lot of, how do you actually, I've done, we do the same as you do, we hold the balloon the same and, and it just comes out a big mess. Well, the one thing if you're just learning with your balloon kissing is to uh, allow your paint to dry off. What will happen, it's self-level, it'll find its place and slightly dry, but not sticky dry. So I'd say between 20 and 40 minutes, depending on your climate, 
uh, leave it then come back and and do it if you want the true balloon kissing looks if you want it to create movement and not look like a balloon kiss then do it while it's quite wet because it won't actually look like a balloon kiss it all falls back in but what is happening is some really gorgeous things happening in here so not quite sure but as you see and there was a big mismatch of paints in there look at that is so delicate and lacy this is got like fracture eyes which looks super duper um, so yeah you basically just push your balloon in and you can push it till you feel the bottom of the canvas and then just pull it back out if I was using a bigger balloon um, same thing push it in but not just a big slap not you know not like a hammer smash or something just a nice push in and then pull it out so look at that oh my goodness that's pretty you know let me put that on my thing to make a not that I use the skins but they look pretty on my this is the um, silicon mat the uh, oh, it's so difficult the name I don't know if it's love life or whatever I'm calling it love life because I like that name I think it's nice so that's what you do with your balloon but maybe we'll have to do a whole uh, video doing balloon kissing for a few people that have asked me that they're really struggling with it but I think the yeah all right let me know what you think people I'm going to give you some close-ups um, in the photos after because the things that are happening in this paint is absolutely phenomenal 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 is that the word phenomenal phenomenal it's a world well weird world weird word I, I'm loving that <laughs> I mean it's so different okay I've rabbited on enough I will uh, leave you some photographs of how I finish it on the end so from my uh, my ice cubie tray to uh, balloon kissing but yeah I'll add some photos because there's such those little teeny tiny fireflies and that you're seeing and fairies in there have got so much detail in. Okay, bye for now. Till next time. Bye.